Following the war in Ukraine, in 2022, Europe and the United States introduced sanctions against Russia. It also happened as a result of Russia's invasion of Crimea in 2014. This raises the question, do sanctions really work and how do we test that? This is where a data-driven approach comes in. We could look at the economic impact of previously introduced sanctions to see whether these sanctions were successful. For example, did the sanctions lead to a drop in GDP? And did that drop in GDP lead to a cut in defense spending? With more data being available and systematically collected, data scientists and strategic analysts work together at HESS to provide unique insights across international relations, political science and policy formulation. These insights can be made accessible to policymakers via interactive and tailor-made visuals. For example, here we have the Climate Security Risk Monitor that provides insights into which countries are most vulnerable to insecurity following natural disasters as a result of climate change. Here you can see India on the screen, which has a high probability of coastal flooding, as you can see here. But the potential impact of a coastal flood is also substantial. At the HSS Data Lab, we use data in three ways. We create unique insights for policymakers by providing them with interactive dashboards. We use predictive models to forecast shifts in various geopolitical phenomena. And finally, we use policy intervention models that immediately provides policymakers with effective interventions. Data can be used for more than visuals and analysis. Artificial intelligence has revolutionized data analysis through predictive modeling. Predictive models can be useful for policymakers to prepare for the future and to act on these predictions. For example, the HSS Data Lab has produced models that can predict the likelihood of intrastate conflict. These predictions are valuable for policymakers to take action in order to prevent further escalation. But the HSS Data Lab goes even one step further. We are not only interested in where conflict is likely to break out, but we would like to know where a policymaker should intervene in order to prevent conflict in the first place. Think about the correlation between shark attacks and ice cream sales. Both might happen at the same time, but not because one causes the other. They might happen simultaneously because people eat ice cream and go surfing when the sun is out. With predictive models, you may very well be able to predict the number of shark attacks based on the number of ice cream sales. But it would be hard to reduce the number of shark attacks by making a policy that is based on ice cream sales. In order to reduce the number of shark attacks, a policymaker should have more insights in the causal relations involved. To answer questions about how to prevent conflict, we should move beyond predictive modeling and really look at the causal dynamics at play. This is where causal modeling comes in, where we do not just look at correlations, but the actual influence of one event on another. HESS puts the academic research of causality into practice and applies causal models to geopolitics. For example, we repeatedly read in the news that climate change leads to all kinds of insecurities, such as migration flow and social tensions. We know that droughts have coincided with conflict outbreak, but to what extent can we attribute conflict outbreak to drought? And to what extent was it just a correlation? This can be answered via causal modeling. As the world around us becomes more data-driven, policymaking should also reap the benefits of the latest data technologies. At the HSS Data Lab, we use dashboarding, causal modeling and predictive modeling to make future policymaking more data-driven. Because there is nothing more difficult than making strategic decisions without having access to all the facts.